We are possessing the nations all over the world, the Lord. Praise the Lord, possessing the nations. I am an agent of transformation, possessing the nations, transforming my world. Dear beloved, all too soon, we are about ending the month of May, the month of grace, the fifth month in the year. Oh, it's been a wonderful moment with you. And this week promises to be another spectacular encounter with the grace of God. Because as far as May is concerned, I pray for you that your life will be characterized with grace, that grace will procure for you what your strength cannot do. We've been looking at growing in Christ's likeness, and I've told you that there are six elements that you must exhibit so that you grow in Christ's likeness. We've talked about love, we've talked about humility, we've talked about purity. Today, I want to talk about honesty. We'll not be able to consider all the six that is faith and good works. But let's look at honesty. I have two scriptures I want us to look at. But before we look at that, just let me share this quote with you. Kenneth Copeland said that everything we would ever need is in Jesus. And as believers, our goal is to be like him and not the world. So you must strive to be like Jesus. And to be like Jesus should be our goal. Another man, Q.L. Cook, says that being sincerely Christ-like is an even more important goal than being authentic. And let me add what Joyce Meyer also said, that know that as a Christian, your destiny is to be Christ-like in all your ways. Hallelujah. And therefore, another way that you can exhibit Christ-likeness is to be honest. Honest in all your dealings. Honest in whatever you do. And these two scriptures speak to that. Leviticus chapter 11, uh, chapter 19, sorry, verse 11, says that do not steal, do not lie, do not deceive one another. Do not steal, do not lie, do not deceive one another. Make sure that in all your dealings, you are honest. Do not take what does not belong to you. Do not tell lies to gain favor or position. Many people are doing so many things in order to earn wealth or to gain position, but in the end, it will lead to destruction because you soon be found out and all liars will end up in hell. The second scripture is in Acts chapter 24, verse 16. He said that, So I strive always to keep my conscience clear before God and man. I strive always. I want to challenge you to do your best. Strive always to keep your conscience clear. If it's about admission you are seeking, go through the right channel. If you are sitting for an exam, avoid the temptation to buy answers and then cheat to pass. Don't go and buy cooked certificates. When you are preparing your thesis, do it yourself. Do the research. Don't sit in your office. Don't sit in your home as a Christian and pay money to people to write for you. And then you present it as your finished work. That one, you are lying. If you ask for grace, grace will abound unto you. If you ask for help, Jesus is ever ready to help you. He has never failed anyone. So be honest in your dealings. And that is Christ-like. By doing that, you grow into the image of God. If you love, if you exhibit humility, if you live a pure life and you are honest in all your dealings, my brother, my sister, I promise you, you will definitely grow. As we end this month, I pray for you that you grow in Christ's likeness. And as always, I want to remind you, please subscribe to our channel, share and like it. Tell people about it. And I know that the Lord will bless you as well. Till I come your way with another exciting and impacting topic for us to look at in the next month, I want you to stay in the growth into his image. May the Lord God Almighty bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. Shalom.
See you again next month. Bye bye. We shall receive, we shall meet our Lord and Savior.